Hey everyone, it is Jade again, here with another of my faves and flops videos. And um, this one is going to be on eyeliners. I've got tons of eyeliners. I mean, seriously, I lost the end of one of them. I forget which one. Well, crap, oh, I'm losing stuff all over the place with these things. Which is also, I've got a couple jumbo eye pencils just because I don't really know where to put those. Well, shoot, fire. That one does not want to leave the cap on it. Anyway, yeah, I see tons of them. So we'll just jump on the end. This one I'm going to go ahead and do just because it's lost the lid several times. This one is, um, I honestly do not know what brand it is, to tell you the truth. It came in a kit my mom got me last Christmas. This one is Moonlight, and it's a silver, or sorry, it's like a gunmetal color. I'll swatch it for you. It's really pretty, but the lid does not stay on, so it's like really bad for any of my makeup cases or anything. It's like crap because I keep losing it. The next one is the same thing, uh, same brand, but it's in vanilla, and it says like CC or CG or GC or <laughs> something like that. Not quite sure, but this one is really pretty. It goes on really shimmery right there, and it's really good for like doing the inner corners, especially if you don't want to put eyeshadow on. You just like dab it in there, and you're done. And um, I forget which one that went to. Piece broke off too. Oh, I have one more. Of these, and this one is Rimmel London Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick Crayon, and this is waterproof in white, uh, witness white. And this one goes on pretty smooth, and I mean, it is like it's white, white right here. This one is really good, and it goes on there. That's the thing, is those are all like really creamy. This works really well for um, the waterline because. Sometimes the pencils, uh, because you can't hardly find retractable, soft leaded, uh, white pencils without waterline. And I mean, most people I've heard of now been using like silvers and different colors and the waterline instead of white because white sometimes is really harsh. But this one has got a pearlescent to it. And if you don't like try to cake it on, if you just do like really lightly on it, it just has just enough sheen to, you know, pop, make your eyes pop, but not like be like chalk white. So that's I love this. And sticking with the white theme, I actually did finally find a retractable white one in NYX brand, and it is pure white. And I love this stuff. This again is for like more so on the inner, I mean on the waterline. And um. I want to get some more of these because I actually do really like this eyeliner. I just haven't bought any more yet, but it's just typical white eyeliner. And it goes on really smooth, and it's pretty, I mean, it's a pretty color, too. It's just a plain white where the other is more shimmer, but depends on what I'm doing and where I'm going, <laughs> if I, what, what I want. And the next one is the only one that I actually own in the Ulta brand, and I actually bought this for a... Um, cosplay that I was doing of a friend's drawing uh, just recently. I actually went to Memphis and had a blast, but anyway, um, it's but it's blue. It's um, in Capri, and it go that goes on really well, pretty smooth, and it's a darker blue. But I mean, it's um, I really am not crazy about the Ulta. When honestly, I mean, it's it's kind of an iffy product. I mean, this one I more so bought just because it matched what I was doing color-wise more than all the rest of them did, and that's more so why the only, the only reason I bought it. But um, it's okay. Uh, the next one, I actually that's a different brand that I got is um, I actually got this in my Ipsy bag from last month, and it's the Star Looks uh, pencil. Uh, gem pencil, and this one is actually in topaz, which I don't know. Like to me, it's not blue; it's silver. <laughs> and topaz is normally blue, but I mean, it goes on pretty smoothly. But it's a very shimmery silver. It's not blue. Where like the amethyst one, I've seen people on on here on YouTube that uh, 
had that got the amethyst one and it was purple. You know, just this is not topaz. This is not blue topaz. This is silver. Just saying. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, my best friend Rachel again. She bought me another Urban Decay thing, which I love. Um, it's a it's the Urban Decay 24/7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Perversion. It basically is just black, but the name is Perversion. I've got to figure out how to sharpen this because that is unacceptable. But it goes on super, super smooth, and it is black. I mean, can't get any blacker than that. That is black. <laughs> and I love this. I think, I want to say it's almost like a coal pencil or something. Not sure, but this stuff is amazing. And honestly, I would actually pay for this. Most of the products that I get from friends and stuff that are higher end, you know, I use them for when I have them, but when they're gone, they're gone. This, I would actually buy. This is amazing. And, um, other, some other products that I've got are, uh, one more off, not off brand, but one more brand that, uh, I picked up, which is no longer sold at Sephora, sadly, is Tokidoki. And this is the Brilliant Glitter Eyeliner Crayon in Mo Mo Mozzarella, I guess is how you say that. I'm not really sure. It's a little cow person. It's cute. Um, it's just a black glittery eyeliner pencil right here. Not really crazy about glitter eyeliners or pencil eyeliners anymore. You see that's all I ever used was the... Was the uh, pencil eyeliners, but they're so harsh, and a lot of times when they're sharp, they, like, really feel like they're stabbing you in the eye. I just threw that across the floor. <laughs> anyway, don't like them whatsoever. No, not anymore. Used to, not anymore. Um, and then I forgot I actually had these, but these are, this one is Elf Liquid Eyeliner, and it's a glitter eyeliner. No. Just no on these. I mean... What am I? Four? No. It's crap. You can't even see it. It's crap. I got this in the Villains, Disney Villains kit from last Halloween. And it is crap. It does, the glitter doesn't really come out of it. And it just went in the trash. So, that's how much I hate that stuff. Um, the glitter doesn't really show up at all. And you have to like glob it on. And then you have to like worry about you getting glitter in your eye. The other one that I have that I bought just because I thought, hey, it's pretty, it's glittery. Yeah, no. It's the NYX Candy Glitter Liner, and this is in crystal. It's really pretty, but again, it's a gloopy, shimmery glob of crap. <laughs> flop. Major, major flop. Don't buy these. Unless you just absolutely, I mean, some people love them, they work from me, this is crap. Anyway, moving on. The rest of the plain eyeliners that I have, that I have loved for a long time, have are actually Avon products. This is just the Avon Glimmer Stick, and this one is in Blackest Black. And I mean, it's just a black eyeliner. It goes on really smooth right here and uh, these have been my go-to forever like seriously I've discovered them I don't even know when I when I first got them but like my grandma started buying them for me and I'm like Nana I'd love some more for Christmas and so she buys me like four or five of them and they last me like all year till next till the next Christmas and I'm like Nana I'm out of I'm out of a, a glimmer sticks and so she buys me more you know why not and then the other one that I actually really like, and um, I want to get another one of, this was another Avon one, and it says Always On Point uh, Black Eyeliner, and it goes on like really, really smooth, and it's like really dark black too right here, and it, it's really good too, I don't know why this is not in my like everyday kit, because I usually keep like... <laughs> several different eyeliners and stuff for that reason because I love them. My hand is so pretty now. <laughs> Another one of my floppy products um, is the NYC High Definition Liquid Eyeliner. This one, it would be, it, it, 
it's supposed to be black, but it does not go on black. It goes on gray. Which, you know what? That's gray. That could be what the heck my problem is. I thought it was black, but it goes on kind of a blackish gray color. I might need to look into that because that might be why that's why it doesn't show up black. Go figure. Learning stuff new every day. Go figure. Anyway, um, one of my oh lord, that's like wiped off. One of my other go tos, and I have another one somewhere. Um, this has pretty much been my everyday one since I started wearing liquid eyeliner. This is uh, the the NYC liquid eyeliner in pearlized black, and it's pretty much just a black liquid eyeliner. I mean, it's black liquid eyeliner. It says it's pearlized, which I don't know if the other one was or not, because I can't read the label anymore. But um, it does have a shimmer to it, so I think this one may have been a matte black. Let's see. No time like the future to try stuff. <laughs> Oh yeah, there is like a major difference. I say major. I don't know if you could tell major, but like this one here, this one is the pearlized one, the first one, and then this one over here is the one that I have. And like I you can't tell the difference, but like I can here. So yeah, that one is probably gonna go oh crap, she's on my shirt. Um it's probably gonna go somewhere far off in the distance. Um Another product that I got in a Ulta bag was the NYX Studio Liquid Liner in Extreme Black. This stuff is the bomb diggity, seriously. It has a very, very thin applicator brush, so if you just want a very thin uh, eye liner, this is your go-to. It's right here. It goes, like, when you put it on, it is, like, so super thin. It's ridiculous how thin it is. And then the last one that I, I have is uh, the LA Colors Graphics Eyeliner, and it's in black as well, um, because that's like all I wear in liquid eyeliner. Uh, this one I actually picked up at um, Dollar General for like a dollar or two, and it's actually, it has a felt tip on it instead of like a brush and I mean it, find a spot. it goes on it's really black and it goes on pretty well there we go right there so I mean this one is like mine that I've the my everyday that I've been using here lately uh that's pretty good I actually like it and then this would be like my second favorite and then followed by this uh just because this one is I'm on the fence about because I'm not crazy about about it being so thin because sometimes I like like a bigger amount or a, a taller amount of eyeliner and so like it takes more of this one to do that but it's still not really bad but uh it's definitely like on my list of go-to products so anyway that is it for my eyeliners and I hope you all stay beautiful and ciao for now.